Okay, so hello you guys. I'm gonna try to do this video as quick as I can. It's uh, sort of a sad uh, video for me, but uh, I'll do the best I can. I, uh, <clears throat> uh, I've been saying that I have to leave this apartment and well, the time has come that I gotta pack or start packing because uh, the earliest is for me to get out of here at the end of July, which is next month, or the latest, August. I'm not sure uh, which one will be, but either way, I have to start packing. And um, I, uh, I got a little, you know, bummed out here. I decided to do this video when I start when I looked at my Roland uh, drum set, and in a ways, and it's kind of good that I pack it up because, I mean, if you look at the drum set, um, the legs are all bent, the uh, the the uh, the arms came off. <clears throat> uh, see that it came off. This guy is supposed to be inside here, and. Uh, this is my whole apartment, okay? That's it. This is the whole moving area. This is where I'm standing. And that's the whole moving area. And I've been trying to bounce it up, move it from here to over there. And then the bed was before over here. And then it was the drum set was over there. And just trying to figure out how to make this work with the little space I have. Because there's nothing over here except this little walkway. And then you've got the kitchen, and then that's the entrance of the door, and then there's the bathroom. And uh, back here is just uh, uh, a small rack with record albums. And uh, so you can't do anything over here. Uh, so it's been very frustrating uh, because of the size of the apartment. But uh, I try to, I try to, you know, find find a job. Uh, but uh it's just uh it's frustrating because um i'm trying to move see if i can work this camera okay well i guess i can't turn the uh you know i applied to a number of jobs and anyways it's just been frustrating so i'm not going to pack up this stuff now <clears throat> uh because a lot of this rack gear is going to go in my rack space over there and uh, and I do want to uh, do another couple videos uh, playing with the uh, with all this gear that I have set up uh, I did do a wet dry uh, I forget what the term is called uh, rig and a hybrid I kind of did a hybrid wet dry rig with this being dry and this being wet, but this guy, it's going through the laptop with all the uh, uh, virtual instruments, the plugins. And uh, I did play with this quite a bit and I got some really cool sounds and that uh, was my Synergy. And uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so, uh, but this was the most, this is what just made me bum out right now because, you know, I started to remove the hi-hat and I said, wow, man, I can't play them no more. So I decided to unplug all, everything, all this was plugged in. I'm thinking of leaving the drum brain and maybe two, uh, two drum pads out, which I will probably have to lay on top of the bed and just play some ideas. Uh... Maybe three drum pads I'll leave. Two large ones and one small one. And uh, maybe the snare, a, a large tom, and a small tom. And uh, or maybe four of them. You know, maybe the snare, two toms, I mean, two large toms, and one tom, and a uh, small tom. And I'll have to lay them down, you know, and then uh, all the other gear, pack them up in this big box. Um, uh, but, uh, 
yeah so I've been uh, like I said in my other videos I um, I was trying to save I've been trying to save for you know a trailer and uh, sometime uh, sometime from now until uh, uh, September maybe the latest October depending how things go you know um, because right now I have some issues with the van I have a Ford Econoline E250 95 and uh, I get the feeling that something's gonna need to be replaced because sometimes when I start it uh, there's like a, a hesitation uh, when it starts and also the RPMs for some reason they just I don't understand but for some before when he turned it on you could hear the engine when it's cold the RPMs are high and then it drops to its normal level now it doesn't do that now it just goes to straight normal like you can't it's, it's smooth I mean it sounds better I don't know man but anyways so I'm according to my my math uh, calculations I should have if everything goes well I should have about <clears throat> five thousand dollars from now until uh, late September or the latest October and that should get me a decent trailer to convert into a partial uh, music studio and partial living quarters and because uh, <clears throat> uh, you know at, at one time there was uh, there was this dude out in Colorado he was supposed to be a friend I don't know what the hell happened to the dude but he disappeared <laughs> you know the fucker disappeared and I don't understand but I did borrow money from the guy and I thought things went well and we cleared it up any depths that I had and and I thought things were going well you know it was a while ago and uh, cuz he he forgave me for some of the loan that he get, uh, helped me with and and I was grateful you know a lot you know to, to the guy but I, I considered him a real good friend not just because of the money uh, but for some reason I, I started noticing that he was acting weird when he sold me uh, his uh, his MacBook Air for really cheap and also he was getting a little weird too before because he wouldn't like call or I don't know you can hear something in his tone that was a little weird and and I said wow man I said what's up with this dude you know and so uh, so then little by little I started noticing just weird stuff that like he was backing off and then all of a sudden I said you know what I said I'm the one that always calls this dude I said I'm the one that always always calls a dude <clears throat> and uh, and I said you know what if I don't call him I wonder if he will call me I said you know what I'm gonna test his his friendship I said well guess what it's been more than two months maybe three months maybe I'm not sure like two months now a little over two months or close to two and uh, and guess what not one fucking phone call or email or text nothing none you know no hey Damien how you doing how's everything nothing man so I was right I, I was right you know and uh, so you know it's really important to have a loyal friend you know but unfortunately I don't know what the hell happened to the dude but I thought I had a loyal friend I guess not because here it is two months already gone and not one not one text message not one email nothing nothing you know, simple, hey, what's up, Damien? How's it going? You know, nothing, man. 
And the funny thing is that I knew something was, well, a while ago, you know, he had offered me to stay in a shed that he had in his backyard. And we were discussing how to insulate the thing, soundproof it and everything. I was going to spend a shitload of money, man. I, I, I was going, I was all for it and I was all ready and I was like, wow, man, a fucking a studio and be able to live in, in, in the shed and pay him rent. And help them out with whatever I can, you know, money-wise. And all of a sudden, the, the guy just changed his mind all of a sudden, just really abruptly. And came up with this fucking excuse about me freezing my ass inside during the winter. It's like, hello? <laughs> you know, have you ever... I mean, there's ways around it, you know, to keep warm. And then all the insulation I was going to put in there... Uh, there would have been no way in hell I would have froze, freeze, froze my ass. I wouldn't have let that, you know. And uh, so he freaked out and said, "Oh, no, and some other stuff about my Social Security income." You know, I mean, it, I, I told him I first wanted to to stay there for like two months, you know, so I can make sure this is what I wanted. And also, before you switch all your all your paperwork, driver's license, uh, and uh, your medical insurance, your car insurance, everything you have to switch. You know, you have to go through Medi-Cal, Medicare, everything. It's a big fucking hassle, you know. And, uh, and the guy thought that I was going to cause friction with Social Security about some bullshit about fraud. It's like, you really think I want to fuck around with with my income, with Social Security, and, and, and cause fraud, I go, I'm like, what the fuck is, you know, I, I don't fucking get it. <laughs> so, so it was a really, uh, it was a real disappointment, you know, and uh, my battery's dying, go figure. <laughs> so anyhow, um, so here I am now, you know, in this apartment, you know, about to, you know, be homeless in the van, um, and now I gotta pack, you know, my gear, you know, all my gear here, and, um, uh, yeah, so, and then I bought this MIDI, uh, MIDI device here that, uh, is also, that also drove me fucking nuts, I spent 120 bucks on this, on this unit, <clears throat> it's called the, uh, MIDI timepiece AV, and uh, according to Univ uh, Mark of the Unicorn, uh, this model is still uh, being supported. But when it comes time to to um, to use it on Logic Pro and your MacBook operating system, it's like Chinese, man. I mean, literally Chinese to me. So. I did download a driver that was supposed to work with it, but for some reason, I just don't understand the fucking thing. I really don't. Uh, it's it's all MIDI technology, and it's it's a little over my head. Um, I understand some things about MIDI, but to use this thing uh, was a nightmare. So I'm going to do a quick video on it about how to use it or am I wasting my money did I waste my money and should I sell it and is there something else that I can use that's more user friendly uh, what I wanted to use it for is to separate my keyboard my Krumar floor bass pedal and a separate uh, MIDI keyboard that I have so that I can run individual plugins on each one separately like each one has its own sound otherwise it becomes uh, layered on top of each other under omni mode and uh, so if you have an organ on the floor bass pedal uh, and then you have a synthesized uh, a Leslie synth uh, keyboard on the pian on the keyboard and then you have uh, a, a, a choir on the other keyboard, they all will blend together. You cannot separate them uh, 
unless you have something like this, okay? But I can't figure out how to run this fucking thing, and I'm wondering if I wasted my money. So, um, that was a real hassle. And, uh, uh, so, yeah, I have to, uh, you know, pack up my stuff now, and, uh, uh, and I gotta, I gotta break down this drum set, you know, It'll probably make me feel better, because I'll be able to move around more. But yeah, stay tuned, and, uh, I will do another video using, uh, my hybrid wet-dry setup that I created, and, um, um, uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, and, uh, as soon as I get the, the trailer, um, you know, it's gonna take, you know, a while for it to, to get it set up, because, you know, I have to, uh, uh, sort of make some arrangements, uh, in, on the trailer interior, and, you know, remove some of the panels, and sort of insulate it with, uh, other materials and also sound deadening materials and uh, just modifying it. But I'll be creating a video. I'll be posting videos on the up uh, on the update on, on that also. So, uh, but in the meantime, um, I got to be patient. It's been very depressing, you know, that I got to leave here. Very depressing. Uh, and also, you know, not hearing from this guy for two months now. But you know, somewhere along the line, along the road, I'm sure another, reli I'm sure a reliable friend will come around, and there's nothing like having a reliable friend in your life. And uh, I thought I had one. Uh, I guess I was fooled. <laughs> you know, it came as a shock. You know, but uh, I hope you have you know, a reliable friend to look up to, to talk to, that they can listen to you, that you both can share each other's uh, discussions. And uh, and you'll know it when you have it. So, uh, okay, I gotta go. Thanks for watching. Bye.